everyone and welcome to the first Glasgow Gallerina vlog of 2019. I hope you had a lovely festive season and welcome back. I am starting off with, it's not quite a resolution because I, I can never keep them to be honest, but I'm starting up with a commitment. Have you ever heard of Kilt Walk? This is an event that happens in Scotland. Um, I think it's been going on about five years and it is a charity endeavour that encompasses about a thousand different charities. You walk a certain distance wearing a kilt and people sponsor you and all the money goes to the charity of your choice. Now needless to say I have chosen Gypsy's Old Haunt, the Scottish SPCA. So I will be walking, this is it's not until the end of April but I'm very excited, just signed up, full of enthusiasm. I will be walking six miles to collect funds for the SSPCA and what's wonderful is the Hunter Foundation will be adding an extra 40% onto every single donation so raising even more money for Scotland's cats, dogs and all the other animals. I mean you know me I love love my dog walks and Gypsy keeps me fairly fit I would say but I still feel the need to practice need to make sure that I am um, it's not a race fortunately I think you get a finisher's medal if you finish but it's not um it's not timed which is probably quite good for me but I want to make sure that I'm comfortable with the distance, I've got a lot of practice and I'm not letting any of my sponsors down. I should say, in fact, I have been already just blown away by the support of my friends and family and loved ones. It, we are already, I set up my page about two days ago, 40 hours ago, and we are already at more than £400 of pledges. So if you can contribute in any way, please, if financially it's not suitable for you right now that's fine just share it anywhere you can any social media I would so appreciate it all the links will be in the description box below and if you would consider contributing thank you so so very much even one pound per mile so that would just be six pounds a pound per mile that would be wonderful and it would help me reach my goal of 500 pounds for the only charity that protects and rehomes all of Scotland's animals so today is kind of day one of my training, my self-imposed training schedule. Obviously, I probably don't need to prepare this far in advance, but I'm excited. I wish it was I wish it was this weekend. So I want to practice. So I'm heading up to our local loch and going to now the route there is about three quarters of a mile. So it would be eight times round in total, but I'm not sure if I'll do eight today because I'm kind of short on time, but I'll see how far I get and get to gauge how, how easy or otherwise six miles is actually going to be. Of course, I will be wearing tartan at the time, but I'm not going not gonna to quite do it. It's not a dress rehearsal. It's a kind of early read through. So come along with me and we will head up for our practice walk. Here we are. Oh, I've been walking, what, three hours now? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's the car park. But this is the loch and I am going to, as I said, three quarters of a mile round. So we'll see how long each lap takes me and how long I can go. Not quite without a break. There are pit stops on the day, but I shall, this will be my first practice. And it is, for all that I said about a dress rehearsal, it sort of is. I have my walking boots, very important and even, a nice pink and grey combo, which hopefully I shall be able to add a bit of tartan to on the day. But let's see how this goes. Lap one done. I don't know how long that took me actually. Did you see the swan? There is a lovely, there's a lot of little, um, not the time of year for signets quite yet. Might be by the time my practice is over. Now it's time for lap two. Here we're coming up for the Boathouse Cafe where my mum and grandma are observing me work hard down here. Let me see if we can see them. They are having a nice cup of tea somewhere up there and I'm back yay so that was about 
I think we're at about three miles an hour. So based on that pace, it would take me maybe about two hours, but I should probably err on the generous side. Not really a question of speed because I'm gonna have to take you with me. Certainly take some photos and make the most of the day. I feel with all my sponsors being so generous, I want to do them proud. So hopefully I can do that. And now I have to go and give Gypsy her walk. I feel like a, a terrible cheater having gone on a walk without her. Um, but it was a wee bit busy for her, so I popped down, check she's okay, and back to back to the walking drawing board. I do also have a few new artworks to show you, so I will insert little pictures here. One is actually me starting out, branching out on my animal illustration. I've mentioned for a while that I really want to get into this, and this particular piece is inspired by Ring of Bright Water by the mysterious Otter Midge, who's a character, a real life character in fact, very close to my heart. And today I was literally painting a cart, so this is on my theme of cherry blossom buds, which you know I, I always adore doing a cherry blossom bud, pink and purple heart garland, perfect for Valentine's Day. Thank you. 